Welcome back inside the booth at OSCON 2011. I'm joined now by Maximiliano Fertman, author of jQuery Mobile Up and Running from O'Reilly Media. Thanks for joining me. Oh, well, thank you for inviting me. Oh, it's great to have you here. Uh, I have to admit, uh, I'm seeing so much happening in the mobile development space. I'm excited to be able to talk to you here. Uh, we tweeted back and forth a bit when uh, at FERT, so it's yeah. good to actually see yeah. you in the flesh here. <laughs> um, and it was, uh, it was great to find your site at uh, FERT.mobi, mm -hmm. and that leads right into a great first question. Um, what's the most important thing you tell people about programming for the mobile web? Uh, the most important thing, uh, maybe the most important thing is uh, understand mobile, because uh, mobile is very different. It's very different in context. The context is different. I mean, Mobile knows where we are every time, every day, 24 hours a day. Uh, even the mobile knows if, for example, I'm here or not, if I have a meeting or not. So mm -hmm. developers need to understand new things that are happening on mobile. It's not just a small screen. There are a lot more to do on the mobile side. And uh, what other contexts are important for developers to think through when they're uh, trying to create an application? Geolocation is the first mm -hmm. context, but uh, there are other contexts. For example, are we in roaming or not? Mm. Right now, I'm in roaming here, so uh, I should expect different experience for me because uh, I should pay for data, so maybe this kind of things. Even right now, you can access accelerometer, some sensors. For example, I, I, I know if lights are on or off on the room. So that kind of context. Or if I'm in my house, in my home, or my office. So applications and even mobile websites need to understand new context. Now, one of the uh, really macro trends we're seeing on the web right now is this move towards HTML5. Right? Yes. I mean, I, I grew up making HTML uh, pages back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Now in the, the aughts and now in the teens, I guess as you say, HTML5 is, is changing the way that development happens. Um, what's the um, impact of HTML5 and mobile web, de mobile web development? Uh, in my opinion, we are talking about HTML5 because of mobiles. Mm -hmm. Mobile space was uh, the space pushing new technologies. Uh, mobile has more hungry about new features on, on, on the web space. But we are, when we are talking about HTML5 right now, we are talking about the big, big umbrella of very different things, APIs, markups, and even we are not talking only about the browser. We can create apps, installed apps, offline apps using HTML5. So it's not just the browser, it's not just the markup, it's a, a lot of new things we need to learn. And when people ask you about uh, developing an, an application for a specific platform like yeah. iOS or Android, the two top platforms, versus HTML5 that might work on either or mm -hmm. other uh, phones, um, how do you weight the choice for them? It depends on the application because if, if the application is just, let's say, a list, a list of topics, a list of things, a list of business, uh, a list with some animations, you can do it with HTML5 and it will work great, it will perform great. Uh, but if you need, for example, some kind of augmented reality application, or if mm. you want to de detect faces, then you, you will need native code. So, but I believe it's cross-compatibility is very important, because if, if I'm doing a, a web app or an app only for one platform, we are missing uh, the possibility of sharing, people sharing the app with friends, because mm. I don't know if my friends have my, my own phone, my own device, so cross-compatibility is very important. Also for not insulting our users. Mm. Okay, you, ca you can't use my website because you don't have my, my ideal phone, say iPhone, Android, Blackberry, mm. whatever. So I believe cross-compatibility is, is important for for companies, for developers, but I also believe that you need to understand every platform and you need to provide the best experience for each platform and for each context. So that's important too. It's, it's, it's not just create an iOS application that it also works on a BlackBerry, on an Android, mm -hmm. but it's not a, the best experience for the BlackBerry user. So we need to understand every platform, we need to create the best experience for each one. Uh, the uh, the book you wrote is about jQuery Mobile. Yeah. 
Um, what are the most common challenges and questions that you received from readers over the past year? And, and what advice would you share with people other than go read and buy my book? Yes, if you're talking about this book, this book was released on early access yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a question, but okay. I, I have a question from my first book, Priming the Mobile Web. So the, the questions are always, okay, which framework should I use? Or which, which is the, the, the best way how, how, how should I start? Uh, I believe that the most important thing is understand the, the context, all the platforms, understand all the platforms, and also understand your project. Because every project is different, and there are projects that mobile web technologies uh, works uh, good for that kind of projects, and for other kind of projects, maybe you need native code. I'm also a native developer. I use Objective-C, Java for Android, Java for BlackBerry, so I understand both worlds, the mobile world, the HTML5 world, and the native world. So I believe for, for, every, for every project you need to, to think, you need to make decisions mm -hmm. about which is the, the best way to, to, to start. Okay, so last question. Okay. Um, when you look at the different applications that are rolling out on mobile platforms, what are the ones you think are pushing the boundaries right now of what can be done on mobile? Uh, okay, well, if you're talking about pushing the boundaries, I believe iOS is the one with most advanced technologies in terms of the browser and HTML5. I mean, I believe, again, in my opinion, we are talking about HTML5 because of Apple. We can love or hate Apple, but it was the first browser pushing new technologies, pushing new tags, new, new, new APIs on the browser, mm -hmm. and then the others, even desktop browser, uh, copies this this new idea. So I believe iOS is the one leading the the, the browser, this is the browser and HTML5 new features. We are waiting to see iOS 5 to see what what's new there. But but I believe that's the one right now pushing the boundaries on on HTML5. Great. Well, thank you for your perspective. Now, thank you. All right.